¿Qué onda, YouTube? <laughs> It's your boy, Legal Alien, coming at you again here. Uh, today, we're going to talk about Ethereum gas fees. Check that out. So, <laughs> I actually love this, man. I found this the other day. Uh, it's actually an interactive way to uh, look at uh, <laughs> the gas fees here. I mean, they just show you kind of like... <laughs> That's not, I'm gonna go ahead and just, yeah, show me around. So it's a live blockchain uh, transaction mempool visualizer. Each person represents a single transaction happening in real time. So you can see here people loading up from different services. So each house represents a type of transaction. And then uh, we're gonna click through those just to kind of look at them. Uh, each bus uh, represents a future block. First bus leaves when the block is found. So that's, uh, again, with mining, every block, that's how they get paid. So. Click the coin name button at the top to change streets. So uh, this, uh, okay, the tutorial's over. <laughs> so this one shows you different uh, chains too. You can look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Monero, Litecoin. I am personally uh, all in on Ethereum. As far as, I mean, I don't, I don't have very much Bitcoin. <laughs> But for example here, pending transactions, last block was a minute ago. As, as you can see here, people were lining up, paying these gas fees. Look at that. As you scroll more down, you're going to see lower gas fees. But as the blocks come up, the fees go up. Because you can you can set your gas fees to low. You can set them to this like 17 way, 15 way. But are you going to get it? Depends on the network. Uh, the network congestion, congestion, sorry. As far as how many people are actually using it and trying to realize these transactions. But this site's really cool, man. It, it just shows you like real time. You know, like tether transfers, uh, USDC transfers, uh, anything that involves the blockchain, Mar uh, MakerDAO, Uniswap, my personal favorite. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. So yeah, uh, let's see here. Uh, another well, the the best way, easiest way, because it shows you numbers like cash. It's actually going to be this website called etherscan.io which we're going to go to right now so etherscan.io enter so once you get to the site here it's going to show you the current ether price transactions and uh the transactions per seconds and the medium gas price um now me personally i am a huge fan of <laughs> night mode everything <laughs> so obviously click on here ethereum gas tracker it's going to show you your low average and high And it's going to show you how much it's going to cost depending on the kind of transaction you're trying to do. Whether it be an open C sale, Uniswap swap, USDT transfer. And then uh, the next big one I always look forward to is the ERC20 transfer. And then uh, how much it's going to run you, again, depending on network congestion. So, now, and then fees. Obviously, they change literally every, uh, like right here, was it a refreshing every 14 seconds? So just depending on the block and then and, and, uh, the block that's being mined at the time. And then obviously just gas fees. It's just the reward given to miners for putting transactions in the blockchain and executing them. So if we look at this chart here showing the Ethereum gas fees. Again, this is this one showing a five day chart. So you can see yesterday was a very good day. 26 on average. Uh, if you look at a six month, <laughs> if you look back on like November, man, those fees were woo. 184 130 over over 100 consistently man when trending downward uh, which means you know we're less people are using the network um can't really speak as to why that is entirely but i'm not complaining man <laughs> as far as my transaction swaps and, and transfers like it's been great uh, especially if you uh if you go on times uh in the u.s that are uh Ah, uh, let me see. I don't think it'll show me the day. It wasn't loading for me. Well, nope. It's not it's not loading for me. Well, either way. Well, what I was going to say is the fees are usually best at night. Like, from 10 p.m. to, like, 6 a.m. If you get up really early, too. Like, I know the other day I had a, I had multiple transactions done where it was, like, 14 way. And I was paying, like, 8 bucks, 8, 10 bucks for a swap. 15 on the high end and like a dollar or two dollars for a transfer and this is all before eth 2.0 uh the main aim at that is again to reduce those fees uh miners are gonna get wrecked uh since it is uh, gonna change to um proof of stake instead of proof of work 
but yeah, that's just a little insight here on uh, how the Ethereum network kind of works and the gas fees. Been your boy, Legal Alien, signing off. Thanks for all the support. You have a blessed one.